Fun Army. Welcome back to Life Another Circus Girls. Today it's mini vlog time again. We haven't had one in a while, but I'm going on a little adventure. Um, so uh, I've probably told you at some point in the past uh, that Jay, Laurie, and I met in New Zealand. Well, I met Jay and Laurie in New Zealand. They were on their honeymoon in New Zealand. Um, but there was actually a, a wider group of people that we were traveling with in New Zealand um, and a number of whom we still stay in contact with. So um, we are all headed to Germany. Well, one of our friends already lives in Germany. Um, but yes, uh, our friend from California has traveled over to Germany with her sister. So uh, yeah, we're having a little mini reunion over in Frankfurt, which will be awesome. Um, it's raining a lot at the moment, but I don't mind that. I'd rather that than it be too hot. Um, because yeah, sometimes it can get really quite hot. Well, in the UK or in Europe, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not built to cope with that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, I'll take moist <laughs> over heat any day. Um, just hope it's not too humid, but that's why I put the pigtails in. I was like, no matter what the weather is, this will do nicely. Um, so yes, I'm now just waiting for the cab to come and pick me up. I'm heading over to Heathrow. Uh, and then Jay and Laurie are actually already over there. So they're going to come and pick me up at the airport, which will be fun. It's very rare anyone actually ever picks me up from the airport. So I'm going to take advantage of this moment and enjoy it. Um, yes, so uh, wish me a safe flight and I'll see you on the other side. waiting for the flight gate to come up. So, after a hilarious game of trying to find each other at the airport, <laughs> turns out Frankfurt is actually quite a huge hub airport in the middle of Europe. And they were doing some construction work, so the route that I came out was not the route that Jay and Laurie were expecting me to come out. And yeah, it just took us a minute to figure out how A met B. <laughs> But anyway, we eventually found each other and then they whisked me straight off to Frankenstein's Castle. Ooh. How long is the ceremony that you here? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, No, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm zoning in on you now just because you put... <laughs> There's a hole there. <laughs> it's a finger! <laughs> so, as you will have seen, it was um, much more of a medieval ruin situation. Um, but there was fun to be had in the surrounding grounds and woods as well. Somebody else do it. Yeah. Jay, you do it. Get in there, Jay. <laughs> You're on film, so make it a good one. <laughs> You're tripping everyone up. Mist. And then I have no footage of the <laughs> last part of the afternoon slash evening because 
it was completely torrential by this point in time and we went to the village that was local to where we were staying where there was also a, a castle that we thought we might peruse but since it was so wet we focused on food as a priority and it took us a while to actually find somewhere that was open because I think it must have been about 4 p.m. at that point which was too late for lunch and too early for dinner so most of the restaurants were closed which was a bit of a nightmare but we did eventually find somewhere and I took that moment to treat myself to the traditional German schnitzel of joy. After the schnitzel fun and torrential rain was done, it wasn't done, we still had to walk back in the torrential rain. <laughs> we got back to the cars and then we uh, headed back to our apartment for the evening and actually everyone came back, which was nice because we got to kind of have a round the table catch up, a nice cup of tea. Um, Jay had promised the Americans that he would make them a proper cup of Yorkshire tea so they got to experience that for the first time which was great um, and then we decided we were all tired so everyone went to bed. <laughs> this is my room, funky Ikea lampshade. Little bathroom here. Hi. Bathroom here, shower. Kitchen, Uber fridge. So day two's excitement began as we headed to Würzburg and first up was Würzburg Schloss. Sorry to anyone actually German for my horrendous pronunciation but that basically means Würzburg Fortress um, which was, depending on who you ask, a castle, a fortress, a fort. <laughs> what was the other word that was used? Palace. Um, it was amazingly flouncy as you will now see. This is so meta! <laughs> Thank you. 
Skulls in a very flouncy box. Just so good. Yeah, <laughs> best sign I've ever seen. See something new every time. As there was so much to see, that's where we spent most of the day, but then naturally we were hungry again. So we headed into town to summon up some lunch and I was on a mission to have more German treats. Um, enter Bratwurst und Sauerkraut. It was so good. Next up we hit a lot of churches and cathedrals and cathedrals and churches including this one. There were so many, they were all super flouncy and floofy. I've actually never seen anything like it. Don't fall! <laughs> Thank you. 
and once again we were tired so <laughs> we headed home for a lie down. And then the final full day, day three. Yes, I was only there for three days, the others were there for five, six days, um, but I could only manage three on this trip, but that was enough. A lot of quality time with my good friends who, for some of them, I haven't seen them since 2017, so it was really great to have an awesome catch up. Uh, day three was focused on Frankfurt itself, because um, I hadn't had a chance to actually go into Frankfurt yet, so we kept it cash. We started with a lovely brunch, uh, my main demand was that I just wanted eggs and tea. <laughs> I had a little bit more than that, but I did get eggs and tea. Um, and then we wandered around the town and found out that there was actually a festival happening. I don't recall what it was called, but <laughs> it may just be called the Festival of Frankfurt. Um, but that was running all over the weekend, so we were there uh, for the Friday, which was the first day. Um, so we had sort of a pre-wander around whilst they were still setting stuff up and getting a uh, hold of the lay of the land um, and then planning our food stops for later because our main mish was we're gonna eat all the street food which we did Hi, you guys! Hi, you guys. <laughs> Hi Sarah! Hi! Hi, Hi Laurie! Hey. We also got to explore some of the touristy shops and saw some lovely wooden um, toys and ornaments and clocks and all the fun things. Um, I didn't buy any because I would really like to go to um, the what's considered the traditional home of the Nutcracker, which is somewhere else in Germany, so that's for another trip. But I did enjoy looking, um, especially when I discovered one ornament that looked exactly like one I have that I've had for years. It was passed down to me through the family. Um, so uh, yes, it's nice to know that it's actually a traditional design. Just like the one I have at home. And then after yet more rain, it was time to say our final goodbyes to the group. It was so good to see them. And uh, now that we don't have a pandemic to deal with, we're hoping we're gonna to get to see them a bit more often, um, more road trips afoot. So now I'm home and still very tired. <laughs> but it was a great trip. I got to 
really enjoy all the things I love about traveling, which is exploring new places, being with like-minded folk, just kind of living in the moment, which is something I don't find very easy to do the rest of the time. And traveling just completely brings that out in me. I forget about all my other crap and just get to enjoy being there and being with the people I'm with. So this was exactly what I needed right now. Um, if only I weren't so tired. <laughs> an age thing who knows maybe we just packed in so much that now I just need a rest that's okay I do also get quite tired from traveling wherever I go even if it's just down the road I'm tired <laughs> anyway I hope you enjoyed this crazy random mini vlog of my little trip to Germany with my posse please do leave me a comment if you visited any of these places uh, or you would like to visit any of these places we are very happy to have a chat about that thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time bye